From Sigland, I've received the USB-C cable, but this is not a random USB-C cable. This is a USB-IF certified cable that you can use for everything. You can use it for up to 240 watts charging power. For data transfer, you can use it up to 80 gigabits per second. And for video, you can use it for up to 120 gigabits per second. So it is uh, really universal. You can use it for Thunderbolt 5. It has a marker built in, so it can better communicate what it is able of. I will check it later. For displays, you can use it, for example, for free 4K 144Hz displays, but also, for example, for 60K display or 8K plus 6K display or 4K over 500Hz display. So for any display, it is powerful enough. For data transfer, you can connect it to any computer, any smartphone, any hard drive, because with 80 gigabits per second, almost or every possible device that you may have with USB is not able to use more than 80 gigabits per second. So this cable will for sure work with everything or almost everything. And you can buy this cable in different lengths depending on how long the cable you need for something. And let's uh, unbox it and see what is inside. A cable and some papers. And that's everything. You can buy this cable on the Amazon. We have information USB 4, 80 gigabits per second. Here we have many languages available. And here we can see information in English about this cable. And it has a nylon layer for more durability. You can see that the ends are quite slim to fit in every device because some bigger cables don't always fit. So this is quite small to fit almost everywhere. It is protected by two plastic cups on the ends. Let's unwrap it. It is quite thick. You can see it's, it's not a smart cable. And very important thing, because this cable is USB EFI certified, right here it has a logo. You can see 80 gigabits per second, 240 watts, official USB logo. And this is a very important thing because right now there are many USB cables that are not labeled. They are just some random Chinese cables. You have no idea which USB-C cable can do what because they look similar, but inside they are totally different and are able of different protocols, different charging speeds, different data transfer. And you have no idea what which cable can do. But with official cables, you have right here official logo and you know that this cable you can use for 240 watt charging, 8 gigabits per second data transfer, and you don't have to guess it, you have it written right here. If you will leave this cable in a random place and after a year you will find it, you will know what this cable can do. With many other cables, you have no idea what the cable is able of because it is unmarked it doesn't have any information. So this is a big, big plus that every cable should have information like this built in on them, official logo, what the cable is able of, because every USB-C cable is different and we need standards and official logos, informations to know what which cable we can use for. And let's uh, see this e-marker that it has built in, what informations we will get from it. I have a tester that I can use to read this e-marker information from any cable, if the cable has it, because not every USB-C cable has that information. I've selected e-marker option. Let's connect this cable to the input and let's see what we will see. You can see vendor ID, type, speed, length, maximum voltage, maximum current. So any device that you connect this cable to can know what maximum charging power it can output not to destroy this cable. 
they can read that 50 volts, 5 amps for this cable is okay. It supports it. The chargers or power supplies can give that much power to this cable. So a good thing, every good USB-C cable should have that e-marker with those informations about themselves read in. But this is the theory, but let's test in practice the charging power if I can pass through it bigger power. I'm not able yet to test 240 watts because it is hard to get a setup for it, but I can test 140 watts, which is still uh, a lot, and it's hard to find a USB-C device right now that could need more than 140 watts through the USB-C cable. But this cable is future-proof that in the future, when devices like this will be available, you will have a cable ready for that situation. And I have a tester that it will want to take 140 watts and I will see if the cable will allow for it. The tester is ready. We have 28 volts on the input, so it is already good. And I've set the test for 5 amps. And let's press the start and see if we will receive that power. And we have 134 watts because of some lost power on the resistance. But you can see that this cable is for sure able of 140 watts. I would like to test 240 watts also, but maybe in the future when I will have better setup. And the cable that I have right here is 1.2 meters long and you can buy different versions, shorter and longer, depending on the situations where you need the cable because sometimes shorter is easier, sometimes longer is easier for use. It depends on the situation, so you can select the best cable for you. It is available on Amazon, so easy to buy. Official USB-C IF certified with a logo on the cable. It has a nylon layer for a more durability, better protection, longer usage. It has a quite slim profile to fit in almost every device because there may be some extreme devices with even thinner requirements, but most of the devices are not smaller than this thing because some USB-C cables have quite big ends. So a slim end is a good feature if you want to use it for everything. So this is a really good solid cable that you can use for everything. It doesn't matter if you want to charge your devices, transfer data, connect it to the display. It can do everything at the highest speeds, highest powers that are available on the market right now. And it is future proof that in the future when there will be available devices with 240 watts power need, this cable will be able to support them. So this cable is worth having so you don't have to guess if your random Chinese USB-C cables are good or bad for a selected scenario. You know that for sure this USB-C cable will be good for anything that you need. So it is worth having it. And at any moment when you will find it in the future, you can check the logo and you will know that this cable is good and you can use it for sure. And that's all for today. Like, subscribe and be nice.